high protein vegan snacks, too sweet and too savory, all very easy, I would say, and all with 20% or more of total calories coming from protein. I bring that up because high protein can mean different things to different people especially in the vegan world. Many vegan recipes claiming to be full of protein are like substantially lower than this, lower than 20% protein. The number of times I've found vegan protein bars with like 250 calories and eight grams of protein, no. Get out of here. I'll start with the easiest and arguably my favorite one, I guess. It's just some cheesy, with a Z, of course, edamame. Start with 12 ounces of shelled frozen edamame. I like the Trader Joe's brand because it has the best price that I've found. You might be able to find cheaper at like international markets. I'm just realizing that now I should look there. Run them underwater just to thaw them a little bit and then put them on a kitchen towel and dry them off. You can even peel some of the skins off. I always start doing this and then realize no, no. <laughs> Not worth it. Put them on a nonstick baking sheet and add a quarter cup of grated Parmesan. It's about 20 grams of Parmesan. I like the Violife brand, but I think Trader Joe's, again, Trader Joe's, I think they actually have a pre-grated vegan Parmesan that we didn't like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Some black pepper, half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter to half of a teaspoon of salt, I like half of a teaspoon, and a tablespoon of olive oil. Mix it together with your hands, that's the easiest way. Spread it out into a single layer and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. And that is it. It's best right out of the oven, but it's still good out of the fridge. It gets kind of like chewier. I don't know. It's so good. I love edamame. Uh, I would say it's about four servings and per serving 139 calories and nine and a half grams of protein. Next up, apple cinnamon protein balls. I wanted a sweet one that didn't have any chocolate because I know some people don't like chocolate. I don't understand that. How's that possible? But it's possible. Or sometimes you just don't want chocolate, which also I don't really understand. <laughs> Start with 140 grams of oat flour. I just use whole oats and put them into a little blender. What are they called? Bullet blenders. Blend it up until it's kind of a coarse flour texture. I really love these things, even though I have a Vitamix and I use it all the time. I love the small bullet blenders for stuff like this, for making small amounts of oat flour or making smaller smoothies, like for the kids or dressings as well. Often I don't want to make like five batches of salad dressing. I just will make a little bit and that's kind of hard to do in a Vitamix or a larger blender. Anyway, add the flour to a mixing bowl along with more oats, a cup of whole rolled oats, some protein powder, 52 grams of protein powder. That's about two scoops of the Vega Made Simple, the vanilla, I'm using that here. Ooh, they have a toffee one. That would be good in this recipe too probably. But yeah, whatever protein powder you want to use. Um, if you're using unsweetened, you're probably going to need to add more sweetener. Half of a cup of almond flour, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. You can use a store-bought or make your own like I did, just a mix of cinnamon and ginger nutmeg and clove, just go easy on the nutmeg and clove. A bit of salt, I use about a quarter of a teaspoon. And finally, the special ingredient, these awesome pea protein puffs. I bought these off Amazon for a pretty decent price. I really like that they add extra protein without like extra flour, extra dryness. They're not quite as crunchy and crisp as I would like them to be, like a, a rice crispy, you know? Uh, but overall, I really, really like them. I'm gonna keep using them. I'm sure I will get them again. I've already made another recipe with them. Anyway, add three quarters of a cup. That's about 84 grams. And if you don't wanna use the pea puffs, that's totally fine. You can add three quarters of a cup of oats or some chopped almond, whatever you want. It's not gonna be as high in protein, right? but it's still gonna be very tasty and healthy. Mix the dry ingredients together and then add the wet ingredients, a quarter cup of cashew butter or almond butter, a quarter cup of maple syrup. You could use one of those sugar-free liquid sweeteners, the maple syrup things, if you like, to reduce the calories and to up the protein per calorie. But man, to me, oh, I just, I can't. This is just straight garbage. And last but not least, half of a cup of applesauce, two of these little ones. I always use the little ones because I can't go through a huge <laughs> container of applesauce. It always ends up getting moldy. 
mix everything together and once it starts to get super thick it's easier to just use your hands then take a taste to see if it's sweet enough if it's not you can add more sweetener you can add more liquid if you think it's too dry the beauty of these is that there's no gluten right there's no wheat in these it's just oats mostly so you can stir them mix them up bash them up with your hands as much as you want roll them up into balls put them on a baking sheet you can freeze them if you want i just put them in the refrigerator in a tupperware container uh, with just a layer of like parchment paper or wax paper on top just to separate them a little bit although it probably would be fine without they really don't stick that much you could also form them into bars like 12 bars instead of balls which is what i usually do and i'll probably do next time i make these because i get a little crazy making the balls and like trying to get them all the same size. It ends up taking me forever. Anyway, I got 40 total. So that works out to 66 calories and about three and a half grams of protein per ball. Ball is just, it's funny. It shouldn't be, but it's funny. These are a good level of sweetness to me, but again, you can add more sweetener, add more liquid, whatever you wanna do. There's no gluten. We're not baking these, right? So they're pretty impossible to mess up and they're just so yummy i like the chewiness from the oats and from the little pea puffs there's so much cinnamon which i love cinnamon you kind of can't have i mean you can have too much but it's really hard there's been like once where i've had something and was like you know what too much cinnamon number three mini veggie quiches to start dice one zucchini and one red bell pepper then heat up a tablespoon of oil, add the zucchini and the pepper and one cup of corn, you can use canned or frozen, a bit of salt and pepper and saute for 10 minutes. While that's sauteing, you can slice up your scallions for scallions and also combine the dry ingredients in a mixing bowl, one and a half cups of chickpea flour. Again, international markets probably gonna have the best price. I'm using the bobs here, which is like, three plus dollars per tiny bag stupid a third of a cup of nutritional yeast that's about 30 grams a teaspoon of baking powder one and a half teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of thyme a quarter teaspoon of tarragon and more pepper if you like mix it all up and then add some soy milk one and a half cups of unsweetened unflavored soy milk so the silk is not gonna work for this because it has a vanilla y marshmallow -y kind of taste i find the trader joe's again is the best price i think it's a dollar 99 for one of the little 32 ounces whereas something like west soy which is also good for this is like three plus dollars you can use whatever you like just make sure the ingredients are only soy and water no flavorings unless you're into that you know maybe you like vanilla veggie quiches it's i'm not gonna kink shame add all of the veggies including the sliced scallions along with half of a cup of cheddar shreds i'm using the so delicious brand because it was on sale that's really the only reason um it tastes very similar to daya which i do like you can try omitting the cheese but it really does help with the moisture and the flavor honestly of the of the muffins so i wouldn't recommend it if you want to try, uh, you're probably going to need some more liquid, maybe some more soy milk. Mix everything together. And just like with the apple protein balls, there's no gluten. So go crazy. And look what I got from Amazon. These are little silicone muffin cups. I was a little bit nervous. This was my first time using these. So I sprayed them with some cooking oil. I filled them up and a prey. <laughs> One thing is that they are just a tiny bit smaller than the regular like disposable baking cups, which even with those, the, this batter, this recipe filled those up like to the brim. There was a little bit left over here. Now after baking them, I could have used the rest. I think in all of these, I could have filled them up more like I did with this one. This one little test muffin was like seemingly way too filled, but apparently not. Next time I'll definitely just use all of the batter, fill them all up as much as possible. But this time I didn't and I used the remaining batter in this little donut mold. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Bake it 375 for 25 minutes and that's it. You can see the super filled one did just fine. Even the little donut one. <laughs> 
did fine. I love it. It kind of looks like a fruitcake. That would be a good prank. Like a nice, fun, wholesome prank. Like here, you want a little fruitcake? Ah, uh, gotcha. It's a quiche. That's my kind of prank. And they all came out super easy too. There was barely any residue left behind. That was one of the things I read on another listing I was going to get from Amazon. There were just so many people saying, oh my God, it leaves a, a thin little film of like muffin and it's impossible to get off. But with these, they, uh, they did a great job. I'm super stoked. Last but not least, black bean chocolate fudge bites, I guess is what I'm going to call them. <laughs> Start with two flax eggs. That's just two tablespoons of flax, ground flax with six tablespoons of water. You can put it right into the food processor. Two cups of black beans. I used canned beans that I drained and rinsed really well. If you're using canned, you'll have a little bit left over. Two canned beans is close to three cups. Anyway, add the two cups to your processor, then add two tablespoons of melted refined coconut oil or some other neutral flavor oil, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half of a cup of Splenda or whatever low calorie sweetener you like, stevia, erythritol, half of a cup of cocoa powder, 60 grams of protein powder. I'm using the now pea protein unflavored. This is the two pound container, I think, which is a great price. If you want it even cheaper, you can get the seven pound container, <laughs> which I have done. <laughs> Nowhere to put it though. And unlike the apple protein balls, which I think are pretty sweet, these really are not. These are really more of a kind of dark chocolate kind of low sweetness thing. I cannot talk well right now, but point is if you want to use a sweetened protein powder, go for it. And finally, two tablespoons of maple syrup and one half to three fourths of a cup of unsweetened soy milk. I forgot to add this at first and I was very confused when I was mixing it up in the processor. Like, why is it so dry? Why is it forming a ball? What's happening? <laughs> anyway, I used only half of a cup of milk, which is pretty, pretty thick, pretty dry still. So feel free to use another quarter cup. Process until nice and smooth, scraping the sides as needed, and then start filling up the muffin tin. I would advise against foregoing cups, just greasing the pan with oil, unless your pan is like pretty new, is really nonstick. Mine is not. Unless what I'm making is super, super fatty, so like not these, uh, it will end up sticking. So I usually go with the expensive parchment paper cups, but next time I'm using these dudes, now that I know they work. Anyway, top with a quarter cup of chopped walnuts. Make sure you press them down into the batter so that they stick and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And that's it. These are very, very dense. That's why I call them fudge. They're more like a fudge than like a, a brownie or something. They're not like brownie at all, which is why I don't call them brownie. Okay, I'm being very redundant. Uh, again, they are not super duper sweet, which I personally like because I like having them in the morning with my coffee, which is usually extremely sweet. Again, if you want them sweeter, you can add more sweetener. You can add a sweetened protein powder instead of an unflavored one. And just like with the apple protein balls and the quiches, there's no gluten here. So if you mix it up and you taste it and it's not how you want, you can add more liquid sweetener, whatever. This makes 12, obviously, 129 calories and almost eight grams of protein per bite. So that's it. Those are the four snacks. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know which ones you want to try. Let me know if you try them and what you think about them. And if you have any suggestions, there was a comment on the beef stew uh, recipe offering suggestions and saying like, I'm sorry for offering unsolicited advice. Don't feel sorry, please. I'm not like the best cook or, or anything. I mean, I guess no one is really. Point is, there's always room for improvement. So if you have any thoughts or ideas or something that is wrong or doesn't make sense, please leave your comment. It's much appreciated. And yeah, thanks again. Like the video if you liked it. Consider subscribing, hitting the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. Also, of course, thank you so much to patrons. I do have a Patreon for those who don't know. I do upload two exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons. The last one was reacting to the Good Mythical Morning uh, Ben and Jerry's tasting, the non-dairy Ben and Jerry's ice cream. <laughs> it was... Uh... It was interesting. <laughs> Thanks again, and I'll have a new video very soon. This is so stupid. I'm recording a video talking about snacks that I make that I really like, and I have not eaten today. What the fuck?
It's 1130 in the morning and I have not even eaten. I've had coffee, no breakfast. Good job.